I have a major announcement that I would love to share with my YouTube community. Here it is. In the fall, this fall, I will be moving to the Netherlands from Canada on student exchange for a full year. Now, obviously this video is eight to nine minutes long, so this is a huge full set of announcements that comes with this life change. Like the fact that I'll be returning to professional chess after a five year hiatus. I am so, so excited to share with you all of this. So I have put this video in chapters so it's more easy to consume and you know, you can go through the chapters that you would like to know about. In one week from now, you will start to see this background not be this background anymore in my videos. I am moving out of this apartment after two years at being at this university called Bishop's University in Canada. I will be moving to my parents' house in which you might be familiar with the background if you've been consuming content in the past year or two years for the months of May, June, and July. In the first two weeks of August, I'll be going to Yukon to hike with my dad for two weeks and will not be on social media at all. In the second half of August, I will be detailing my journey and moving to the Netherlands for a full year. There are a few reasons why I chose the Netherlands and here they are. Number one, academically, as you probably may know, uh, I've been studying at Bishop's University for the past three years, full-time student, even doing all this content creation. And my final year, I decided to go to the Netherlands in the University of Amsterdam, which is the 66th best university globally. And I was honored enough to be picked for that university. And so it's such a good university, I thought that it was a great reason to go to the Netherlands. There's other reasons though, why I wanted to go there. Another reason why I wanted to go to Europe in particular, a huge reason, is that it's strategically placed in the heart of Western Europe for me to be able to travel around on the weekends or even during soft weeks of school for chess tournaments. Yes, that's right. After five years, my last tournament was in May 2019. After five years in 2024, late of 2023, I will be going to chess tournaments. From September 2023 to September 2024, I will likely be traveling through every country of Western and Eastern Europe playing in chess tournaments. And the best part is you're coming along with me. Right now, I am streaming six times a week on Twitch, even though I have school, and that is not gonna change. So you have nothing to worry about, and content on YouTube is not gonna change at all. I'm gonna do exactly the amount of consistency we're doing right now, which I'm very pleased with. The similarity between all these tournaments that I will be doing is that they will be FIDE rated tournaments. So not saying my intentions, for now, I just wanna steadily rank up my rating that has been untouched. My FIDE rating has not been touched since 2018. So my a tournament 2019 and I haven't played a FIDE rated tournament since 2018 So that will be five and a half years or six years, which is absolutely nuts currently right now I think I'm personally underrated. I'm 1871 FIDE rated slow and I will be doing as many classical rated tournaments as I can to rank up my rating and I'll be hopefully streaming every single one of those tournaments live on my Twitch for you to watch live and encourage me or discourage me, whatever you feel, uh, during those live tournaments. As well, I will be posting as many frequent recaps as I can on every single match, good or bad, to show you my translucent experience. My goal is to be as open as possible and detail the heartbreaks and the successes during my journey. Now for a little bit more about the university. I chose to go to University of Amsterdam because it's obviously a very, very well-known school, but I get to do some amazing classes in there. In my first semester in fall of 2023, I hope to have four classes in University of Amsterdam. The economics and politics of the Netherlands, that's one class. Digital marketing, which is basically what I'm doing now for a living at school, which is amazing. Cases and leadership and change, which is an HR class, which I had to do here at Bishops, but I'm just gonna do it here in the Netherlands instead. And finally, sales and negotiation, which is my fourth class. The second semester, which I'm super excited about we'll be having a minor program is what they call it called cross-cultural business skills in which I learn about the the culture and how cultures do business in 25 different countries 
in on the globe, which is amazing and exactly what I love. If if you've been on my stream, chances are I've asked you where you're from. So why did I choose the Netherlands? Out of all the countries in Western Europe, I could have chosen France, uh, which speak the same same language as me, French, right? Could have chosen England, which also you know speaks the same language as me. But no, I chose the Netherlands, and there's a few reasons why actually. The Netherlands is one of the few countries in Western Europe to have had a world chess champion. And this is a historic reason why I love the Netherlands in the context of chess. From 1935 to 1937, the Netherlands produced Max Uwe, or Uwe to be the world chess champion of the world. He became world chess champion by beating ar arguably one of the greatest chess players of that generation, which was Alexander Aljokin. This makes the Netherlands to have an extremely cool chess culture, such as having a chess museum. They have the Max Oive Chess Museum there, which I totally plan on visiting and I'm so excited about. Finally, in the various cities and countries in Europe that I plan to visit, I want to do fan meetups A, and number two, I want to do, not only do you meet me, but you also get to play me in chess. I want to do chess in Publix in everywhere in Europe that I go, which would be so, so exciting. And another piece of content idea, which I have, which is very, very interesting to me, is that I want to do some vlogs, you know, put you guys on my journey in the extra moments, you know? If I could do some vlogs that would show, you know, the before and after of a tournament or just show the tournament room or show me traveling by train 14 hours to Denmark or to Austria or to Hungary, that would be so cool. And if you guys do wanna see that, I would love for you to say it in my comment section, which would encourage me to do content that is not absolutely chess. And I think that would be a big step for me as a content creator to kind of you know expand out of my out of my niche uh, look a little bit around the niche and you know say hi so yeah i'm super excited about the next few months for now i'm just gonna weep about saying goodbye to this beautiful background i couldn't have wished for more it's really the best and yeah for the next four months i'll be at my parents place and then off to the netherlands and then the fun it really explodes and if you want to join this journey and be a part of this journey with me which I would be honored if you would. Well, then you can follow my social media on Instagram. I'll be posting a lot of stories, a lot of posts concerning this, uh, my journey. So follow me on Instagram, on Twitter. I'll, I, I just say funny things and I show some cool things, uh, chess position wise. And of course on Twitch. On Twitch is where you'll, you'll get the goodies, the live footage, the, the awesomeness of me just stressing out over the board or playing a brilliant move or even blundering my position. Uh, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was not, no chess today, unfortunately, but it's a very, very major news that I really wanted to share with you guys. And I hope you enjoyed and see you soon.